Hello friends, welcome to valuetrainings.com. Today under SOAP UI training, I am going to discuss about the complete framework which I am going to use in my training. It's data driven framework. Okay, as I said, there are two versions available for the SOAP UI. It's free version and the pro version which is paid one. So for both, I'll tell you what is the complete flow in which I am going to work. If it is free version or if it is pro version. Okay. So this is the Excel sheet which I made for the detail concept what I'm going to do all the steps how I'm going to follow. Okay, so this is for data driven framework. So let's discuss uh, in a very uh, short terms. What is the meaning of framework? What is the meaning of data driven framework? Then we'll switch on to the free version and the paid version. Okay. So let's start with the framework. See framework is what? Framework is something which is going to provide you the outline to perform the task. And which task it is? It's a, it depends on the what type of project you are working. Okay. And actually it do contains the project, the files, many of the files, some are the reporting files. Okay. So this is the only thing which will be there within the reporting or within the framework. Okay, and if I show you a framework, okay, if I say this complete is my framework, what all it will be included? It's here you will see the project. Here you will see the source file from where you want to parameterize your project and here around you will see the reports. Okay, so what is uh, all the things which I said? It's about the project. This is the Excel sheet from where you want to fetch the data if you want to parameterize your complete project and here are the reports and there are variety of reports which you will see how to generate and how to work on to that. Okay, so this is the only thing for the framework. Okay, if it is free version, if it is pro version, I'm not discussing it right now. Okay, this is for the framework part. Okay, now let's discuss about data driven framework. This is one of the type of a framework and we are going to work on data driven framework. What is the meaning of data driven framework? The meaning of data driven framework I can find from here only. If I want to fetch the data from some external file and then I want it to implement for all the steps which will be there within your project, then it is a kind of data driven framework understand so this is all about the framework and the data driven framework now let's switch on to the uh, topics as of how to implement the data driven framework with the free version or if it is the pro version so this is the all all the steps which i'm going to follow this is for soap ui free version okay it's around 12 to 13 steps and what about pro version it is over here okay same thing i can do with the pro version but if you see there is two different frameworks which I did make within the free version only. Within the free version, two different things I do have if it is core, if it is rest. Okay, and then for SOAP UI Pro, I am not, I'm not going to implement the core or free, uh, rest directly. Why? The thing is, as I said in my last session that Ready API don't need the help of any external IDE and we don't need any external classes. We don't need to get in detail knowledge of Java. Many more things I did tell you, right? In the session for differences between SOAP UI free version and the pro version. Okay, so this is one of the reason. Okay, if you directly work on the SOAP UI free version with the rest as your architecture then you can't implement all these things directly okay it will create a lots of confusion okay so it is better to make a core framework first now what is the meaning of a core framework if i want to explain the concept of core what is the meaning of core framework if i say it's my framework it's my uh, one of the complete framework which you make for your one project if this is for project one okay can you use the same framework okay this is for free version okay so if I say this project one framework is there now I want to use the same project 
the same or uh, not same project but a project too but framework is same data driven framework can i use the same code can i use the uh, code which i write for the framework one can i use a part of framework into this no i can't use because the complete project is directly implemented with my last project project one right framework is directly going to relate with the project and now if i want to switch to project two i can't use the same code so what i'll do i'll create a separate framework i'll create a separate code and then integrate it with my different projects okay so this is the separate framework is what it's core framework okay and now if i want to say for project one or two or i if i say i want it to implement with soap first then i want to implement it with it with rest can i implement yes i can implement i can use the same code i don't need to write all the things again i just need to integrate it it with my soap project okay so understand core is what core is a part which i can use with soap or with rest or with or you can say with project 1 or with project 2 understand so for the free version of soap ui i do need to create core framework first then i'll work then i'll i'll decide if i want to work with soap or if i want to work with rest okay so this is about the free version and if you see here in my excel based reports or in my excel sheet see free version core framework so this is all the steps which i am going to follow and why i am doing that step why i am performing that this thing i have also written you can uh, see this this is under soap you have what we will do and within excel sheet what we will do within eclipse how many steps we are going to follow uh, i think it's around 70 to 80 steps which i am going to follow okay it's around 70 steps for the core framework and what about the rest this is the first thing right so this is the thing which is coming from here okay let me change the color so the thing which is under core is this one the thing which i did show you for the core framework now what if i want to integrate with it with rest then what i'll do i just take i'll just keep this core part of the code plus i'll write some code to integrate it it with rest okay so within the free version of rest framework it a complete detail of the steps again i have mentioned and you will firstly see if i am going to work if i am if i am able to perform everything within the core framework then i'll switch to the rest or soap it's your wish that i'll work on rest in my case and each and everything we will do the same thing we can generate the reports excel based reports j unit html many kind of reports right so this is for free version of core part and the free version with rest now what about soap ui with pro version so these all are the steps which we will follow and here as i said within the pro uh, within the pro version we don't need the help of any external ide as an eclipse so we don't need java these all are the things which is directly coming from the ready api as your tool okay so this is all about the steps which we are going to follow and why we are going to follow why we are working on that step why we are working on uh, if i write add init groovy script test step if i said that add a groovy script test step with the name as init what is the meaning of this to print the values in log file okay so this is the all the things which i am going to cover within my training and it's many more things reporting part is very important again i'll say if you are working on the in the free version of soap ui then you do need classes you need many more things okay and this is the thing for the data driven framework okay let's say if i am working on my soap ui project okay and i do surely need to generate the various kind of reports okay firstly first thing is i am going to retrieve the data from some external file so let's say if it is my in file in file means what the file which will which is going to act as its input file 
Okay, so what is the flow which is working? From SOAP UI, I am going to call this in file. And then in the last, what I'll do? I'll generate the reports, which is very, very important thing. Right, this is my reporting. Reports, a variety of reports we'll generate. Okay, so this is for what? What do you think? If it is free version or if it is paid version? See, this is only for the pro version and what about uh, if I say if it is free version then surely I don't need the help of any external IDE and many more things see you will understand more when we'll work okay so thank you